Okay, Romans chapter 1, uh, verse 26 to 27. This is a very hot topic in our uh, culture today. It seems people don't really like it whenever you say anything about homosexuality, especially when you say that it's wrong for them to do it. A lot of people don't understand why you say it is wrong whenever people really can't help themselves, you know. And there also seems to be some kind of issue when it comes to Christians and homosexuality. homosexuality. Um, you see a lot like, uh, what's his name? Fred Phelps. He, uh, he says God hates uh, homosexuals, God hates uh, gays, and God is, uh, some, somehow he's, he's a hater of gay people. I don't know what his exact purpose is, but he is very, he's a very mean person. He certainly is not a very uh, outwardly godly per person. He, does, he doesn't have the, the attributes of Christ for sure. Uh, you can tell that just by listening to the guy. I also saw a clip, um, I believe it was on Oprah, a lady stood up and she said that the Bible said that homosexual, homosexuality was wrong and it was, it was a sin. And then one of the people on stage asked her where it was and she didn't, she couldn't say where it was. And I'm not surprised. Uh, one, she was basically spouting something without actually knowing uh, what she believed. Uh, it made her look stupid. And there certainly isn't a whole lot of verses that talk about homosexuality. It's certainly not whole chapters that talk about um, homosexuality like there is on adultery in uh, Proverbs. And of course, some passages like uh, Sodom and Gomorrah, um, where they try to use that for homosexuality, are disputed. But I don't really think you can dispute Romans chapter 1, verse 26 and 27, where he groups uh, homosexuality or what we see that here, the, de the definition of homosexuality, in with, a, with all these other um, sins and issues that were going around in this culture. And he actually uses it as a detriment of society, uh, something that happens when people's minds are defiled, when people's minds have been given up to themselves.